Yo, what's up guys? So why the hell are RSUs taxed so freaking high? Someone has asked this question. I've also wondered it myself when I got my first vest, but this is something that a lot of people who work in tech have to deal with. They get their RSU vest and they realize that hey, half of it's gone. What's going on here? So let's just go ahead and jump into this post. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. So the title of this post says, thanks for the RSUs, but why are taxes so high? And this person seems to work at Meta. They don't say what type of role they're in, but apparently they're better the, as part of their total compensation. All right, so he says, don't get me wrong here. I'm extremely grateful and thankful for everything I have. Was lucky enough to be granted enough RSUs that I had about $250,000 vested. So decided to cash out and for the first time in my life and my wife's life, we are debt free. By the time it gets to me, it's a little less than $120,000. That's insane. Rant over. Yeah, so roughly roughly half of his RSUs is basically gone and he and his wife are shocked. Welcome to the real world, my man. You know, you don't mention where you live, so obviously that's gonna play a part in it, but RSUs as part of income is considered supplemental income. So withholding tax within this category can range anywhere from like, I think 22 to 37%, don't quote me on this, but it is basically considered similar to how bonuses get taxed. And of course, when you get your bonus check, you're gonna notice that roughly, depending on your tax bracket, you know, 30, 35, 40, 45% of your bonus is immediately taken off the top and you're left with yeah, a little bit more than half of it. And RSUs are sort of working in the same way. You know, it is what it is. Every tech company does it a little bit differently, but depending on your region, your city, your state, your location, taxes are going to operate somewhat similarly to this across not only just tech companies, but any company that's giving you restricted stock options as part of your compensation. Tech is the area that I'm most familiar with, and I think most tech companies have a, a significant portion of compensation that's made up of RSUs in comparison to the bonus and salary. So every company is gonna be doing it a little bit differently. I remember when I used to work at Apple, I was a junior employee and so I didn't really get much RSUs, but uh, RSUs can definitely stack up and help you achieve your financial goals. But when you first look at it, and when it first vests, you can be a little bit shocked at it. And RSUs are also subject to higher tax rates based on your tax bracket. So if you're making millions of dollars or if you're making over 500,000, you're probably gonna get taxed on your RSUs more than someone who's making 100,000 or 200,000. It is what it is. Now, something to consider is that every company will do compensation a little bit differently. Some companies like Netflix, for example, what I've heard is that they tend to give most of the compensation in the form of salary. It's just like a cash salary rather than bonus and equity. I could be wrong on this, but there's someone who works at Netflix, would love to get your feedback in the comments, but there's ways that you can try to negotiate with your recruiter, with the hiring committee, if there's ways that you can get more salary as opposed to bonus and RSUs. Usually companies will negotiate and there's wiggle room depending on how you negotiate and what your other offers are to help sort of create a better deal for yourself. Of course, companies know this and they obviously wanna make decisions that are gonna be more advantageous for them. So you might not be able to get exactly what you want, but there's definitely ways where you can negotiate if they really want you and say, hey, I want a bigger base, I want a smaller bonus percentage, and I want smaller RSUs. And that might be one way that you can help sort of mitigate some of these uh, some of these tax hits. There's a lot of companies out there that are doing things differently. So ultimately, you need to do your research. You know, this is just the reality of working in the tech industry and working at Meta. You're probably making good compensation already, and I know Meta has a big portion of their compensation in RSU, so there's probably not going to be a lot you can do. At the same time, if you're getting these refreshes and you're getting more stock every year because you're performing or you're able to get a bigger equity grant elsewhere, that's still a net benefit for you. So I would take those things into consideration and just understand that this is sort of the reality of working in the tech space. You know, obviously there's other ways that you can help sort of mitigate your tax burden by creating a business and writing off legitimate business expenses. So a lot of people who, who get these big salaries but see that half of it is gone when they get their check are realizing that, hey, maybe a nine to five isn't really the way to financial freedom. Even if you're making a six-figure salary, you're probably taking home a lot less than a business owner or an entrepreneur who has other ways that they could create tax shields and get other benefits. So something to consider, but this is the reality of working in the tech sector. There's not a lot you can do other than going out there and trying to get better offers or trying to negotiate with the recruiter before you actually sign that offer. But yeah, something you need to keep in mind. It's something that a lot of us veterans in the industry are already aware of. So welcome to the club, my man. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this post, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.